Late 2021 or early 2022 was, according to many analysts, the period of the Great Resignation. However, what we are now seeing is that a very large part of 2022 may become known as the Great Retention. With 4% unemployment, businesses are being forced to focus on retaining their current staff who were spoiled by unprecedented choice in the market. And today we're going to share some of the strategies that we've discussed or recommended to our clients in order to retain their staff in 2022. With record low sub 4% unemployment, businesses are fast discovering that it's exceedingly difficult and costly to fill vacant positions. And at the same time, they're also under siege from competing offers and opportunities tempting their current staff to look for greener pastures elsewhere. In the great work from home experiment that we now call COVID-19, there's little doubt that employees' expectations regarding workplace flexibility have changed, especially for white collar workers and for many businesses when it comes to retaining staff, workplace flexibility may be the low hanging fruit they can use for their retention strategy. So what does workplace flexibility even mean? Well, the typical example we give to clients to try and frame the conversation is that it's simply no longer acceptable to employees to be directed to come to the office every day and work from home by exception. It's actually the other way around. You need to have structure and a good reason why employees are required to come to the office on a specific day. To give a real life example of this from our own business here at On Demand HR, we have one day per week where all of our employees come to the office. So what's the agenda for the day? Well, we begin with a lengthy and structured team meeting where we brainstorm future ideas, we collaborate on client problems and set the agenda and task list for the week. Following the meeting, the company pays for lunch. And then after lunch, we break out into one-to-one -one meetings as required. On Fridays as well, several team members come to the office to collaborate on technical matters that don't really require input from the entire team. So what's the common denominator here? The time staff are expected to be in the office is structured, enjoyable, and has a purpose. And this is a great point for your business to start considering how to manage workplace flexibility, because we can tell you if you don't, your competitors are. A couple of other considerations when it comes to workplace flexibility. Of course, employees can have the choice to come to the office if they prefer, for example, to get away from screaming kids. However, what we're really getting at here in terms of retention is to focus in on the times that the employees are required to come to the office and this should be your starting point for your business when considering workplace flexibility. Also, don't forget about the employees who are not able to work from home due to the nature of the work that they carry out. Of course, this is gonna vary from business to business, but one of our clients has not forgotten about the weekly barbecue for its factory workers, which seems to work a treat. So the message here is don't be afraid to get creative. You also need to focus on training and developing your line managers in order to enable them to manage their staff remotely. We've seen many instances where the strategic direction of the business might have been to provide workplace flexibility, but line managers are still hesitant to actually implement this strategy for their teams as they're still in the older mindset of, if I can't see them, they're not working. The very best line managers that we come across these days understand that they need to change their management style from a bums on seat mindset to a true measurement of value, outcomes and results delivered. And to be honest with you, some of them need a little bit of help in terms of training, support and time to get there. The second critical tool to succeed throughout the great retention is to be carrying out regular and comprehensive salary benchmarking. We can tell you the facts on the ground is that 
wage expectations of employees are moving much faster than what's been reported in the mainstream media. Reviewing employees' wages once per year is just not good enough anymore. Be comprehensive with your salary benchmarking and compare data from multiple sources and consider that some of the broader benchmarking tools you might come across tend to lag a little bit behind the market. Remember that not all retention strategies need to be monetary. It's written in many management textbooks that verbal and public recognition, as well as a good company culture, is sometimes more valuable to employees than money. In the current economic environment where inflation and wage increases are dominating the headlines, we would suggest considering a formal strategy to recognize and acknowledge employees for their hard work. And from a behind the scenes perspective, this has been a common issue that's been raised as lacking in many organizations when we've been carrying out employee satisfaction surveys and exit interviews. So we can tell you there's certainly some truth to this old wisdom. The final tip, which again is going to be unique to all businesses, is to start considering some different types of potentially tax deductible retention strategies that you can introduce and adopt into your business. We've already covered one of the ones that we've adopted here at On Demand HR, being the company provided lunch during our office days. But here are a couple of other ideas which just might spark your creative juices. Swag. Recently, I was attending a lunch and a couple of people were comparing the amount of free bling or swag that was on offer from each of their employers. Now, if you don't know what swag is, it's corporate branded attire and other paraphernalia that employees can order at the cost of the company. So think of things like hoodies and coffee mugs. What really caught my attention was just how passionate these people were when they were comparing what was on offer to them. One of them even suggested that they would consider changing companies based on getting better swag. Fuel cards. A very hot topic at the moment is the cost of fuel. And we currently have a few clients that are considering offering a nominal amount, let's say $50 per week by means of a fuel card to their employees. Sometimes it's really the little things that make a big difference when it comes to retention. Ongoing training and education. During the recent federal budget, the former treasurer announced tax incentives for businesses who assisted their employees to undertake formal education and training, which would further the value that they could deliver for their employers. Now consider this yourself. If you were enrolled in a one to two year course at the cost of your employer, would you be more or less likely to leave? So there are a few examples to get your creative juices flowing to tackle the great retention of 2022. With any of the ideas that we've discussed today, we suggest that you discuss them further with your accountant or qualified advisor to make sure you understand any tax implications before implementing them in your business. The point we're really trying to drive home here is that it's much easier and much more cost effective to retain your staff than to go out and hire someone new, particularly in a candidate's market. If your business is simply using the same old strategies that you've been using for years in terms of retention, then you have no reason to be surprised if you start to see an increase in resignations and turnover in 2022. Does your business have a HR or workplace relations issue? Are you unsure how to work through compliance issues but still achieve a good business outcome? Why not take advantage of On Demand HR's free 30 minute online consultation with an experienced HR consultant. At the end of the consultation, we also provide you with a strategic action plan to resolve your current issues. To see the types of matters we can help you with and schedule your consultation, please visit ondemandhr.com.au forward slash advice. We look forward to delivering certainty, confidence and clarity for your business in your HR and workplace relations affairs.